money to make sure that they That's don't... All? Easy solution. In line with the pledges, we'll play rock, paper, scissors, and you're gonna lose on purpose. I'm scissors, you're paper. Whoever loses will be forbidden from presenting false reports or arbitrary messages from here on out. Do you understand? We're taking advantage of the wording in the pledges. Now there won't be any more spies. All right, let's go. As you can see, things being how they are, our region is in dire need of provisions. Right, yeah, okay. In that case, here's what you're gonna need to do. Yes, sir. Let's see. We'll introduce crop rotation-based agriculture. You'll have one field with... Wheat, root crops, barley, and room for pastures. You'll rotate the crops in that order. Yes, sir. Treasury bonds? I'll give you the details later. You'll issue these bonds and make the banks buy them. That'll make a budget. Uh, yes, sir. Now we just sit back for a few turns and see how things go. Uh, just who are you two anyway? You handled all those problems so easily. Steph... I'm the type of player who does all the boring stuff at once when I play Civ. Good thing I downloaded a ton of reference text while studying for quiz games. That's not fair, Sora. You're cheating. Don't call me a cheater. Not when we're in a world where cheating means manipulating the playing field with magic. It looks like they're ready. All right. I guess this is it. It's beginning. Wait a minute. Are you really wearing that? Why not? Gotta be comfortable to do my job, don't I? Sora. Hmm. If you're ready, then let's do this. as you are. I'm just better at faking it. Huh? Mm -hmm. My beloved citizens. No, my fellow humans. We, humanity, live in a world where war is forbidden. And yet, despite this fact, we have managed to lose almost all of our lands to our neighboring nations, save Elkia, our final stronghold. So I ask you now, is it because our last king failed us? Because we are the lowest ranked of all the races? Because we can't use magic? Because we are fated to die helpless? Not a chance. No way! In the ancient war, the gods, the elves, the war beasts, and all the other races battled against each other. And we not only fought amongst them, we live to survive to this day. Do you ever ask yourself, how was it that this whole continent was once ruled by humans? Is it because we are a race that specialized in violence? We can't use magic like the elves. We're not physically strong like the war beasts, nor do we have the longevity of the flugel. So then, what made us able to conquer this land? We must have been warriors, right? Nay, my brethren, we were able to survive and to fight because we are weak. In every era, in every place, the strong sharpen their fangs while the weak sharpen their intellect. Then why are we in such danger now? It's because the Ten Pledges have broken the fangs of the strong, and they have learned to sharpen their minds just as we had to out of necessity. Now the wisdom, the strategies that we, the weak, once monopolized, the power to beat all the odds, the strong have gained them all. That's what brought us to this state. Now answer me this. What makes you bow your heads like that? Did you hear me? Why do you bow your heads? You should be proud to be weak. We are the weak, just as we have always been. Don't you see? Nothing has changed at all. True, the stronger races may imitate our weapons, but they will never master them. Why, you ask? Because at the heart of our strength lies a fearful anxiety born of our most humiliating weaknesses. This fear has given us the insight to not only escape from magic, but to learn its secrets. It has given us the wisdom of experience, because we must predict the future to survive. I say it once more, be proud to be weak. We are the noble weak who have throughout history torn out the throats of those fools who sit idly by and boast of their strength. 
I hereby declare, as Elki is 205th king, and its queen too, that, that we, we will rule, rule this kingdom, kingdom together. together. Each leader of each race is given their own jewel, the race piece. We hereby declare we'll live as the weak, protect our weak brethren, and we will use our wisdom to make the strong bow before us. We are as we once were, and as we will always be. Hear this, my people. You are part of a long legacy, the wisest of the races, one that can become anything because we came into this world with nothing. <laughs> Now let's begin this game. You've suffered enough, haven't you? You've endured enough humiliation, right? It all ends now. Are you ready, humanity? As of this moment, my country, Elkia, will officially be declaring war on the rest of the world. What? Let's show them what we're made of. We'll take back our land and everything else too. Oh my god, would you relax already? You're acting all crazy. How can I be calm at a time like this declaring war? Are you two trying to destroy this country or something? Could you please at least try to think before you open your pretty mouth? Ugh. How are the other nations going to view the fact that we took out the elves? They'll think we're backed by someone really powerful, see? Yeah, but still... Which means, until they know who that mysterious race is... They won't be able to attack us? Yep, everybody's gonna start suspecting everybody else, and they'll all end up doing nothing. That's why we took the risk of declaring war. And in the meantime, we'll be able to shore up the home front at our leisure. Cool, huh? Ugh. They put that much thought into it. Blank. Maybe those two really can do it. So we've gone from our tiny bedroom to a crappy inn to Steph's room and now the royal chambers. This one's gonna be the hardest to relax in. The flugel. Huh? Possessing great longevity and superior magical capability, this angelic race lives on the giant floating phantasma, Avantheim. Their insatiable thirst for knowledge compels them to challenge others for books from all over the world. I bet we could get one of those guys to come over to our side. We've got knowledge from another world, after all. What? What was that? Sora? <laughs> well, well. Looks like things are starting to get fun, huh? It's that kid who thinks he's God. Oh, please. I don't just think that I'm God. I am God, silly. And you should call me Tet, remember? My world, I mean. Are you enjoying it so <sighs> far? Sure. I like your style, kid. Might be nice if the god from our world was as hands-on as you. Yeah? But our enemies can use magic. Something we can't do at all. Our only remaining territory is one city. Our situation is appallingly bad. And to protect the name of Blank, we can't lose a single game. That's the world we're in. What do you think? It's great. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. I guess it was a good idea to bring the two of you here after all. But know this. I don't favor any individual race. I'm usually not so hands-on myself. Although, remember what I said. Everything in this world is decided by games. I see. In other words, even the title of one true god is decided by a game. You got it. That's why I set it up so that there were exactly 16 races. Each side on a chessboard has 16 pieces. So I guess defeating all the races gives you the right to challenge God, huh? I love the way your brain works. If you guys catch on to how things work here so quick, it's hard to believe you came from another world. Why, thank you, God, dude. But hey, careful what you wish for. Don't forget that it's Blank's policy to be number one in whatever game we play. And that attitude is exactly why I was certain that you wouldn't be able to resist the temptation to challenge me. Now, wait a minute. You do recall that you lost to us once already, right? I do. That's why I won't lose next time. <laughs> hey, God Kid. 
You can call me Tet. Okay, Tet. You'd never lost before, had you? The god of play was so very, very upset at his first loss, he just had to bring us here. Am I wrong? Interesting. What makes you think that? Because I get it. I know where you're coming from, bro. You see, Blank doesn't lose, but mm -hmm. we've lost to each other more times than I can count. You are not allowed to quit while you're ahead. 